Hey guys, this is John Callum from KTL Motorsport and I'm standing in front of Project Budget Wheels Rally Car right now. As you can see, there are no front wheels and things are kind of askew underneath. And uh, there's a transmission jack at the bottom. So needless to say that the car is in a state of disrepair. And uh, I will explain to you guys shortly uh, what is going on with the car and what we have to do in order uh, to get it in fit and fighting form for our upcoming rally event uh, which is uh, as I say it as I record this video it is uh, July 7 and the rally is on August 4 so we have uh, kind of less than a month to get this car buttoned up we're needing to test this car on an upcoming slalom race on the 16th of July. We have a bit more than a week left in order to get this car sorted. Uh, let me show you guys around the car and to see what is going on with it. You can see there are no wheels. Uh, Basically, the lower part of the suspension, the wheels, the knuckles, the axles are all down. And of course, the whole transmission is missing. You're not supposed to see all the way through the other side and seeing the next, uh, the other front shock behind us. So, uh, I don't know if you guys know that we have some uh, inverted uh, strut shocks over here. This is from a Subaru uh, STI GC8. So it seems to still be in good condition and hopefully it lasts the uh, the time that we use it for the rally. Alright, so there's no transmission over here. The starter is hanging. The clutch is visible. And it's an open chasm over here at the engine bay. So while we're here, we'll tell you one other problem. The rack and pinion is bust. It's a power rack system, hydraulically assisted. So it has sprung a leak already in the seals, uh, especially on this side uh, of the rack end. And therefore, we kind of have to replace the whole rack. We could repair it, but I don't think it will last. And uh, it is cheaper uh, as far as... Uh, pain medication is concerned to just go for a new rack and pinion. They're not that expensive anyway for the Corollas. So, rack and pinions bust. But, what's, what's slightly less bust, but still bust nonetheless, is the C52 transmission. So, the C52 transmission is uh, coming from a Corolla uh, with the silver top engine for AGE. We have retrofitted it with the bell housing for a 1NZ to NZ engine. This was done last year. And this has a TRD LSD. But otherwise, there's no other mods inside the transmission. Uh, the previous problem of the transmission, rather, is that fifth gear was bust. There was a crack on the fifth gear. We replaced it with another fifth gear from a uh, surplus transmission. Which is over there. This one. The second one over here is the... One. And we're working on the third one. We'll get to that later. So, but now, we're having problems with reverse. Reverse wants to pop out. So, we're guessing there's some issue with the synchronizers or whatever, uh, whatever gubbins that are broken with relation to the reverse gear. It's broken, so we kind of need to uh, open up this transmission. However, I have been acquiring... Uh, excess parts or additional parts uh, because I wanted to build my own uh, Corolla and I'm gathering parts and yet I may have to use these parts that I've gathered and saved up for uh, in order for me to expeditiously run on the rally without entailing more cost while we have the parts transmission here, this is an ordinary transmission from a big body GLI. So we'll be grabbing some parts here in order to get that other one running, supposedly. But I acquired this, uh, in the process of this assembly, this is a C56, supposedly. So we will be confirming if this really is a C56, we'll be counting the final drive. 
supposedly, if this is a C56, it will have a shorter final drive. Uh, it will have a 4.3, I think, or 4.4 final drive, or 4.2, something like that, while the uh, this C52 definitely has a 3.7. Okay. So, this one is has still has an open diff, but uh, I have acquired another clutch type limited slip that we will be putting in this Chani. Assuming, of course, this is a C56. If this is also a C52, I will probably not uh, assemble this uh, transmission any further and we'll just repair that one. Uh, but uh, we're, this is a transmission also that has is known to have some faults also on third gear. Third gear is supposed to be grinding. That was reported to me by the previous owner. And therefore, that is why I have acquired this transmission for an affordable price. Yeah, so the shop is a mess. There's gear oil everywhere. It's a pain in the crack to work on transmissions with the smelly gear oil. I kind of like it a little bit, but I think it will be overpowering if too much. But yeah, the rally car is down for the count right now. And there's still lots more we still need to acquire for this car in order for it to be fit in fighting and hopefully be passing scrutineering. So we still have to, uh, we're still waiting for our new steering wheel, our new harnesses and some other bits and bobs probably that I could not recall right now. Alright guys, that pretty much sums up the issues that we are experiencing and the things that we need to be working on with our project Budget Meals Rally Car behind me. And uh, this is something new. I just got a nice tripod of sorts and I got a nice microphone that I'm trying to uh, use right now and maybe provide a slightly different uh, vlogging experience. Uh, I apologize um, for those who have not seen a full body uh, picture of me. This is really how I look. I'm really kind of fat, but that that's how it is. Food is delicious, All right? So I'm not really a supermodel. So what, what are, uh, bear with me, bear with my physique, but I, still believe that it is the content that you guys want to listen to and not uh, how I look like. But anyway, regardless, <laughs> just showing my insecurities there. But uh, nevertheless, that's it for now. Hope to see you guys on the next uh, series of videos that we're going to do uh, with this car. Hopefully, we can get this running, fit and fighting in time for the slalom race in a week. In a week's time, roughly. See you guys next time. Ciao.